Okay, today we're gonna do an ultimate omelet. Right here, my favorites, tomato, jalapeno, basil, bacon, some uh, chopped mushroom, and some scallions. Olive oil, and in she goes. Saute this for just a couple minutes. The bacon has already been cooked, so at this point, all we're doing is a reheat and a light sear while we saute the vegetables. Meanwhile, we'll take our three eggs. I'm gonna whip those up real good. If you'd like, you can add uh, some milk or some cream or even some half and half, but I like it just straight. Okay, get that ready to go. Now this is about done here. Don't worry about salt and pepper on this because it's already in the bacon. Right here, the secret to this is a nice, perfect size omelet pan. See, it's no bigger than my hand, okay? We're gonna go over here with butter. It's really important that you use a nonstick pan. The butter will help you with that, but it will flavor the omelet as well. As you can see, we're hot. And I'm gonna go ahead and egg over the top. Now, what's essential here is the top's getting done too, so we're gonna cover it. Covering the omelet allows the steam to reflect off the lid and cook the top of the egg. Okay, let's pull the lid. The remaining egg there, you can work around the edges here, okay? And it'll start to cook, it'll harden up. Don't worry about it. Keep it moist. We're gonna go ahead and add our mixture here. Now what you wanna do is put it on the opposite side you want to fold the omelet in half. So I'm gonna put it over here on this side. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some mild cheddar over the top of it to glue it all together. We're gonna cover it back up again. Okay, and off. As you can see, it's melting. Got a little bit of that egg left, but it's okay. We'll start getting underneath this. Now the non-stick non pan here is what's helping, that and the butter, okay? We're gonna go ahead and fold that bad boy in half. Make sure you get all the way under it. And you can fold that sucker in half. Sometimes you gotta hold it in place for a minute. I'm even gonna go ahead and just get under it. and hold it in place. And we're ready to plate. Go ahead and slide that bad boy right up. And there you have it. The ultimate omelet right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. You know, if you'd like to, just because just I do, we're going to do some pepper jack cheese right over the top of it. That adds a nice little flavor and kick. And just to make it look pretty, some parsley. Ha <laughs> ha.